Democrats were running from Obamacare. Think again. In the end, we did the right thing. The law is far from perfect. My focus is on making it work for Colorado. So you'd, you'd do it again? I, I would do it again. Now, my next guest says that is exactly why he's running for the senator's seat. Republican Congressman Cory Gardner joins me now. We've repeatedly asked Senator Udall to join us, and regular viewers of this show know he has joined us in the past. So hope springs eternal, but uh, we can't not talk to anyone in the interim. So uh, to Mr. Gardner. All right, uh, Congressman, uh, he stands by that. Most who supported the law stand by it, that they would fix things, but they wouldn't change their vote. What do you make of that? Well, Senator Udall has just doubled down on a bad idea. 335,000 Coloradans lost their health insurance, had their health insurance canceled because of Mark Udall's vote, a vote that decided uh, Obamacare. He passed Obamacare with his vote. I think that uh, this just reaffirms to the people who lost their insurance in Colorado, the millions around this country who had their health insurance canceled, that not only would he do it again, uh, but he, he, looking back, he's voted against the ideas that would have made it even better. Congressman, you know what a lot of Democrats say is that give this thing time and it's going to stabilize and it's not going to keep bleeding like a sieve here. And then, then that, you know, uh, you're hoping that uh, to attach, you know, unseating him because of Obamacare come November, it, it might not be as hot an issue. What do you say? Well, we know from testimony by Kathleen Sebelius before Congress that small businesses are going to see their health insurance premiums rise. In fact, in rural Colorado, we're seeing some of the most significant cost increases. In fact, a Democratic lawmaker from Colorado, uh, Congressman Jared Polis, has asked for parts of his district to be waived from Obamacare because of the high, high costs that many of his constituents are facing in Colorado. So the fact that Senator Udall has said that he would do it again, he would support the bill again, he would vote for bad ideas, vote to have people's health insurance canceled once again, just shows how far out of touch he is with the people of this state and this country. All right. Now, you've made this your signature issue, Congressman, and it, it comes at a time, well, I guess we'll have the official enrollment numbers sometime tomorrow, but they think it's going to be north of six million. Now, we can bicker over how many of those are real new enrollees versus those who have just, uh, you know, moved from one type of coverage to another and how many are paying and all of that. But it, it is approaching seven million, and that's the whisper number you hear. Are, are you worried that it's less of an issue? Well, I think that the seven million was a low end figure to begin with. The fact that the president has extended deadline after deadline because it's failed to attract the numbers. The fact that young people uh, oppose the law. We don't know what the mix is. We don't know how many of those six million people have actually paid for insurance, how many have actually bought it. But we do know that they're going to see sticker shock. In fact, we know that in 2015 we're going to see higher rates for many Americans. And the fact that Senator Udall has said he would vote for it all over again uh, just shows the significant, significant problem he's going to have going into November. Now, let's say you become senator and, and you're in there. How much would you push to rein in benefit-related spending as a United States senator? Well, again, I think we have to make sure that we put ideas forward that will actually work to reduce the cost of health care and increase the quality of health care. I've supported no, many projects about benefits, and initiatives. Would you rein in benefits like Social Security, like Medicare, like all of that? Well, I think we have to be smart so that we make sure that these, these uh, safety nets are there for future generations, uh, supporting efforts to make sure that seniors will have Medicare going forward. We know in the next 10 years that Medicare is going to suffer significantly because of the health care bill, because of the millions, billions of dollars, in fact, of cuts that the health care bill has already put in so place. So your priority and would be to defund Obamacare, kill Obamacare, to save Medicare? We have, got to, we have got to replace Obamacare with ideas that will actually work. Look, Medicare Advantage, millions of seniors around this country are going to lose Medicare Advantage because of Mark Udall and Obamacare. Uh, people are going to see their health insurance costs increase because of Mark Udall and Obamacare. The promises that we have made to future generations uh, through things like Medicare aren't going to be there because of the significant strain that Obamacare has put on the, the budget and how many people will lose their, their benefits because of Obamacare. All right. Congressman, thank you very much. And again, to uh, Senator Udall, you're welcome here any time, as you've been a guest a number of times.